So we are right now in front of the documentation center in Nuremberg, Germany. see the documentation center behind me and there is a symbolic spear that is uh, pierced through the building of the Colosseum that we're gonna go in just a second but inside it's a documentation center and it's showing you the history of the National Socialist Party that was uh, connected with Adolf Hitler and uh, that was the party that was involved in Second World War. The building that we are seeing right here, the huge one, it's the Colosseum that was built for social national party gatherings. And you know the Colosseum was built in 1935 until 1938 and by 1938 the construction was stopped and then there was second world war and uh, all the resources were invested in doing uh, the war business so there was no more uh, resources very limited resources to do the construction of the Colosseum so the Colosseum construction was stopped but there are several other places over here and uh, the other place that was actually used is the Zeppelin Platz. It's a Platz that you're probably familiar with from the propaganda movies and the huge swastikas that were we've held and then the rallies of the party that were happening between I think 1933 and 1938 there but having said that here in the Colosseum there are two buildings when you are kind of entering the Colosseum there is a building that is right now used by the Nuremberg Symphony and then there is another one right behind the bushes over there and here is the entrance so when you were a member of the National Social Socialist Party then the idea was to get everybody and then make them come inside here and then to enjoy the speeches and and do the gathering and do the communication about the division of the party and the vision of the leader and all things uh, connected with this and I'm entering the Colosseum right now and you can see here that's a huge space over here that it's quite overwhelming and uh, so the interesting fact when you look at the walls the wall height is 35 meters 35 meters that's the level that the construction was able to get to but the plans were to do the 70 meter version so there was twice as big planned and then there is no rooftop you see sky over here but the plan was actually to cover it with the rooftop so the construction was not finished but that's a very very overwhelming feeling to be here and to kind of imagine how you would feel when you would actually enter this uh, place and then uh, you know everybody would be also here 50 55000 people were supposed to come here and be here and listen to the speeches if you look at the central position i think the central position is here 
then the whole building and the whole complex was built in the way that uh, it will maximize acoustics so if I will stand here and I think this is the central place and I will say something then there is an echo sound and I don't know whether you hear it or not but there is an echo sound and there is the acoustic that is formed in this way that the voice resonates and actually it's getting amplified and it's getting more and more power when the speaker is doing the speech this was the vision the megalomaniac vision of uh, Adolf Hitler and this is something that was not finished but you can see the place right now and uh, yeah that's pretty much the reminisce and here you can see the second part of the spear that was starting from the entrance to the documentation center. The documentation center, if you're gonna be here, uh, please uh, make sure to have at least in two to three hours to have time to read about the things and uh, get acquainted with uh, everything. There is some vehicle approaching from the back. Let's move to the other fields, to the other places over here that are as much interesting. So there were some questions about what to do with such a huge space of Colosseum after it was constructed but not used and then the city of Nuremberg got a lot of proposals what to do in this place and one of the proposals was to rebuild it and do the sports stadium from this one the other one was to do a shopping mall and uh, there were a few more but at the end uh, they decided to use the one building that I showed you as a documentation center, the other one, right, actually this one right here, as an opera, as a symphony house, and then the other spaces that you saw over there are used as a storage spaces, as a warehouse spaces. So the building is more or less utilized in this way, and here on the other side of the building of the Colosseum it's a lake and you can enjoy the lake with a paddle boats you can use paddle boats you can rent one here and you can eat something uh, here I was actually eating in this restaurant on the other side they have a good Franconian kitchen good Franconian food so I was very satisfied with this and then you can see they're doing also kayaking over there yeah so it's quite a nice place to have some leisure time connected with being an open space and enjoying the lake near the Colosseum here on my left there is the marching road it's a huge road with granite plates as paving material that has two kilometers of length the thing that is very interesting about the road is that it's very wide as you can see here and the reason why it's wide is because the plan was to have military marches walking through this road now Adolf Hitler built the Colosseum and did all the planning here in Nuremberg the interesting fact is why and one of the theories is that because of Nuremberg Castle was the place of the Roman Empire emperors to mostly reside in then the intention was to make a symbolic connection between the imperial castle 
the medieval castle of Nuremberg which is in a straight line four kilometers in this direction and the newly designed powerful and overwhelming in its glory and size Colosseum. Thus the vision was to reconnect, reunite the ancient history with the future, the modern future and the modern vision that was proposed. And here is another interesting thing. This stone, it's the first stone that is marking the project of building a huge stadium that the National Socialist Party wanted to build, that basically Adolf Hitler wanted to build. And this stadium, it's another great example of megalomanic vision that was pursued. And imagine that this stadium was supposed to have a capacity of 400,000 spectators. 400,000 spectators is something that you don't see, I think, anywhere. Today's stadium is 44,000 capacity and we have one in Poland. Polish National Stadium is 58,000 capacity. So this was, uh, this was the project and you can see the project right here. And you can see huge wings over here and then, you know, a huge arena. Uh, they were actually also experimenting with what is the best view, what is the best angles. And in Hirschbach Valley, this mock-up wood piece was built just to test whether the proportions are right and everything is okay. And uh, this, is the, this is the stone that is here. And uh, yeah, the project was not finished. The project actually started, was supposed to start in 1937, but because of the war and because of the great resources that were needed, the project was not started. Only the, pave, the, the foundations, I think, was made. I bought a map in the documentation center and you can see here former Nazi party rally grounds. And this is how uh, the view the view was. That might be a little bit more interesting. This map over here. Let me try to actually straighten this out. Yeah. And you can see the Colosseum. That's the number two. And then we went through the uh, rally road. And then that's number three up to four. And number four is where we saw the stone for the stadium for 400,000 uh, spectators and here the lake that you see next to number four is the foundation for the stadium that was actually built but uh, yeah the water came in and that was only that is only what remains now the other parts are on the bottom and you can see that uh, the smaller stadium as well and other things so this is a huge huge area that was actually used for the propaganda rallies and then here you can see the original map of the whole of the whole complex i should i think hold it like this yeah i should i should hold it like this so this is the colosseum congress halle and this is the map that was informing about what is where this is the original map from 1936 the architect albert speer structured the area into a zone with monumental party rally buildings in the north and the extended tent and barrack camps for the participants south of the march fields so here are the barracks also that were present here by the way this map is only three euros and uh, you have everything well placed in positions with the original map included and my recommendation is if you will come here budget five hours more or less for the whole thing to just really get acquainted with the surroundings there's a lot of walking here the walking, walking is for free, uh, you're not paying anything for the documentation museum, like I said, two to three hours if you're one of the people that are reading everything. 
and want to you know understand the material and all the source information that make sure you will have two to three hours if you want to just run through it then probably half an hour up to an hour will uh, do the trick for you but also there's a lot of walking and near the Colosseum there are some restaurants in the other parts that I'm uh, right now here I'm getting farther and farther from the Colosseum the Colosseum is right over there in the distance I also am planning to go to the old town in Nuremberg and show you the old town I think personally the old town is very interesting I'm very into this medieval thing see you at the old town of Nuremberg the vicinity of Dutzenteich Lake pretty amazing everything was constructed to support the National Socialist Ideology and if you are here in Nuremberg make sure to check out this place and get acquainted with the history maybe go to the museum because it's very much worth it and I highly recommend to get acquainted with this part of German history and world history as well <laughs> 